A very good morning to our correspondents, sir, principal, madam, administrators, sir, teachers, and my dear friends. This day is a special day as another year comes to an end. We face the holiday season that is called Christmas. On behalf of everybody, I wish you all a advanced Merry Christmas. One line can change a moment. One idea can change a world. One step can start a journey. Let's start a celebration with a prayer. Now I call our school's AS peer Gautam Sanjay to lead us in prayer. Bow down your heads for prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this blessed Christmas season. Fill us with your grace and peace and may your blessing of joy overflow in our correspondence, sir, principal madam, administrator sir, teaching and non-teaching and friends of St. Joseph family. Loving Heavenly Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds and worship of wise men. Close the door of your head and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desire with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be blessed with a clear heart. May the Christmas morning makes us happy to be the children and the Christmas evening brings us to our bed with a grateful thought. Lord, bless all the program which is going to happen today. Lord, we ask for your blessing and upon management, family and well-wisher. We also pray for your great mercy. You would look kindly upon all those in need this day. We ask everything in your precious name. Amen. Prayer song is the rising of one's mind and heart to God. Now I call a choir girls to sing us a prayer song. <coughs> Simple sweet potatoes. Bible reading. This Bible reading is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses from 11 to 14. From Andrew, you born this day in a city of David, a Savior, who Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign for you. You find a baby wrapped in a swallowed cloth and lying in a manger, and suddenly there was an angel as man of heaven, was praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the higher, and earth please among those with whom he is placed. Amen.
speech as powers do not fit. What start out as sound ends in a steam. Now I call upon school people leader last year's tree to deliver a speech. Good morning everyone. As we gathered here today, I am filled with joy and gratitude to share in the spirit of Christmas. A time of love, warmth and togetherness. Christmas is more than just a holiday. It is a celebration of hope, compassion and joy of giving. In a world that reflects often compassion and Christmas serves as a gentle reminder to pass, reflect and appreciate the blessings that surround us. It is a season that encourages us to embrace the values of kindness, generosity, empathy. Values that define just not the holiday but our community as a whole. Christmas is a time when we come together as a family, transcending differences and celebrating our shared humanity. It is an opportunity for us to strengthen the bonds that make our school a truly special and exclusive place. As we extend gifts and share in festival traditions, let us not forget the true essence of Christmas, the spirit of giving. Whether it is a kind word, a helping hand or a simple act of kindness, create a positive ripple, effect that far beyond the walls of our school. May it inspire us to be better, kinder and more understanding and try to keep it all the year. Thank you. Be the reason for someone's smile. Be the reason for someone loud and believes in the goddess in people. Now I call the people, now I call the friends to perform a skit. Once upon a time, in a little village in China, there was an old lady called Mrs. Zhao. She was a kind woman, and although poor, never grumbled about the life she led. Huh, <sighs> it's really warm today. And the fruits look like they should be ripe by the time my husband comes home. Mr. Zhao worked in town far away and couldn't come home to visit his wife so easily. He worked hard to earn for the both of them. One day, a messenger came and brought Mrs. Zhao a letter from her husband. Uh, hello, Mrs. Zhao. Hope you're doing good. Here's a letter from Mr. Zhao. Oh, thank you. She went inside and opened up the letter. Ooh, he'll be coming home soon. And he'll be getting double the pay for working so hard. Such good news, especially since the rations in the house are getting over. Mrs. Zhao awaited his arrival with much excitement. One day she went out to pick the fruits and get them ready for him. But she stopped short when she saw they were spoiled. Oh no! How did this happen? Now I don't have much to eat in the house. Mrs. Zhao lived on the fruits she had picked and the few which hadn't got spoiled. But they were soon over. Just a few more days and he'll be here. Oh, I'm so hungry. Mr. Zhao had already reached the village and was walking home happily, thinking about his lovely wife. <laughs> My dear wife will be so happy to see me. And then I'll show her the silver young pole that I've got. As he walked by, he saw a woman sitting sadly by the road, whom he seemed to recognize. It's Mrs. Lee. I wonder why she's sitting there. He went up to Mrs. Lee and was startled to see her crying. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Lee, why are you here? And why are you crying so bitterly? Mr. Xiao, uh, I was just... Uh, <laughs> I'm crying because I don't have any money. We've had no food for days and I can't pay my rent. Mrs. Lee's husband worked in the same town as Mr. Zhao, but he hadn't any news of the man. Well, you know your husband works with me, right? Huh? Did, did he send any letter for you, telling me when he'll come? Um, no, but he did send me his salary to 
Give to you? Here you go. Mrs. Lee looked up eagerly. It was as if a miracle had happened. now sparkled, and Mr. Zhao felt a warm glow within himself. He smiled as he watched her run off. <sighs> now how do I explain this to my love? He continued on home and soon reached there. As he went in, his wife screamed in surprise and ran to hug him. Oh, you're home! Oh, darling! Mr. Zhao looked at his wife and realized she looked a bit pale. He asked her what had happened, to which she explained the whole situation at home. There's nothing left except for a small handful of rice. Didn't you get a good salary this time? Uh, I did, but I gave it away. What? To whom? Mr. Zhao told her everything that he had done on the way back. I'm sorry, my love, but I couldn't just leave her in tears. It's all right, dear. I know you meant well. I'll make us some rice porridge tonight. We'll think about everything tomorrow. Mr. Zhao watched his wife slowly and quietly eat her porridge. She smiled as she spoke to him, but he knew she was sad. That evening, as they slept, he wondered what he could do. He suddenly remembered the sweet potatoes that he had been growing in Mrs. Yang's field. But that would be stealing. I can't do that. But as he looked at his wife, he made up his mind to take a few sweet potatoes. He would definitely pay them back later. So he got up and went to the field. That night, Mrs. Yang had told her son Tao to guard the field. Urgh, it's so cold and boring here. It's warm in the little shade. I'll go there. <laughs> and so he walked to the shade and cuddled up near the flames. But a little while later, he heard a slight shuffling sound. Huh? It's my teacher, Mr. Zhao. Why is he here? Mr. Zhao sat with his eyes closed. He was very stressed. Is it fine if I take a few of Mrs. Yang's sweet potatoes? It's only to feed us for a little while until I can pay them back. Tao watched surprised and listened to his old teacher who spoke so sadly. He decided to help the poor man. Mr. Zhao! Oh, great spirit! You are a kind man, and I think, well, it's fine if you take a few potatoes from the field. Oh, but is it not stealing? Of course not! If you're going to pay him back, then it's fine. Oh, uh, thank you, great spirit. <laughs> Tao watched him leave and decided to follow and help Mr. Zhao. Mr. Zhao was not at all knowledgeable about digging up sweet potatoes and was having a hard time finding good ones. Go to the eastern end of the field. There you find good potatoes. And so, greatly astonished at his good luck, went over and dug up a whole load of nice big sweet potatoes. He thanked the spirit greatly and went home. <laughs> that was fun! I better go home now. The next morning, Tao told his mother everything, who was most surprised at this sudden news. Poor Mr. Zhao. He must have had a tough time. Let's go over to his place today, okay? 
Mr. Yang really liked the good Mr. Zhao, and so decided to take him more sweet potatoes along with some good warm food. When they reached there, they heard Mr. Zhao talking. This stew is delicious, isn't it, honey? Extremely, my dear. Here, have some more. Mother, they had good food all along. Why did they have to steal from the field then? Tao, come here. Tao looked through the window and saw that there was no stew at all on the table. The old couple were pretending that the simple sweet potatoes were grand food. <sighs> the things one must do to feel happy. Come, Tao. Mr. Zhao, Mrs. Zhao. Hearing their voices, guilt flowed through the couple. No, let's just be honest. We can tell them we will pay them back, my dear. And so, they nervously opened the door. Good morning. Tao and I came to... But she hardly got through her sentence when Mr. Zhao confessed everything he had done the night before. I promise I'll pay you for whatever I've taken. Mr. Zhao, I already know what you did. She explained the whole incident as Tao tried hard not to giggle at Mr. Zhao's shocked face. You don't have to worry about paying me back. Here, take these baskets of food for you. Think of it as just kindness. I don't know how to thank you. Just then, Mrs. Lee walked in with her daughter. She came up to thank Mr. Zhao for what he had done. We are safe and have a home because of you. Thank you for passing on my husband's salary to us. My salary? They all turned to see Mr. Lee standing there at the door. He had seen his wife enter the house from afar and had now heard them talk. What are you talking about my salary for? I have it right here with me. At this, his wife gaped. She was now as baffled as her husband. Mr. Zhao smiled and explained what he had done to the Lee family. Now it was Mr. Lee's turn to gape. He thanked Mr. Zhao profusely. It's all right. I was happy to help. Mr. Zhao smiled happily at everything that had happened over the last few days. Because he had been generous and kind, it had only come back to save him. So always remember to be kind, no matter what. As they say, what goes around always comes around. Christmas carols fills the air with joy. It's a pleasant time to hear the song of carols. Now I call upon standard 10 students to sing us carols.
that you were. A very good morning to our corresponding sir, administrator sir, teachers, and my dear students. On behalf of the management, I wish all the teaching, non-teaching staff and our students advance happy Christmas and a happy new year. Let's welcome the little Santa Clauses and the bigger one and the little angels to our school. Let's give them a big hand for the beautiful dance. Hopefully you all enjoy it. This is Santa Claus, isn't it? Okay, today you are going to write the last exam and tomorrow onwards your holiday starts. Half early examination is going to get over today, isn't it? So today afternoon, Christmas cakes will be distributed to everyone. Okay, Christmas remaining is sharing, sharing with everyone. Okay, no? So when you get the cake, we want all the children to carry the cakes home and share with your dear and near ones. Okay, don't open the packet here. Take home and share with everyone. Is it clear? And today is the last day. We don't want any hustle bustle in the class. In a very disciplined way, you will make a move. Not only inside the school campus, even outside the school campus, we want perfect discipline. This, this side, second standard, making a lot of noise. So we want perfect discipline should be maintained inside the school campus and outside the school campus. Even in the van, nobody will open the packets and throw the packets here and there. All must carry the cake packets home. Is it clear? And during holidays, please be in touch with the books. Okay, holiday doesn't mean that you just put the books away. You can make use of the holidays in very effective, effective way. Or you can do some activities, teachers will tell you to do some activities, please play with the books like handwriting, reading, practice, all these things you can do at home during holidays. So we want you to spend the holidays enjoying this effectively. Okay, no? Thank you. <laughs>